Hello friends, welcome to our channel 2SK Designs. So friends, in this video, we are going to learn how to design an impeller like this. So let's start. So first of all, after starting the Creo software, go to the new page, select part design, give any specific name to your part like impeller. Now. Change all the dimensions into mm. Then OK. Now select the revolve command. Then sketch on the front plane. Then select the sketch view. So first of all, draw a vertical center line for the reference. Then draw a profile like this. Now take this measurement as 5 mm. Take this measurement as 20. And this measurement as 12.5. Then OK. And your basic part is ready. Now go to the style. Set the front plane as active plane from right here. Right click. Select active plane orientation. Go to the curve. Select this type of curve. Take the reference for this element. Now draw a curve like this. Then OK. If you want to edit this curve, simply select the curve, right click, select edit definition, then you can edit this curve by readjusting these points. like this then ok again we have to draw a one more curve so select the curve this time select the planner curve then draw a curve like this remember proper imagination while drawing this curve is very important and your curve is ready then ok If you want to edit this curve, simply select the curve, right click, select edit definition, then you can adjust these points as you want to be, like this. Then change the degree to 4 for getting better blade designs, then ok. If you want to edit this curve, Simply select the curve, right click, select edit definition, then you can adjust these points as you want to be, like this. Then change the degree to 4 for getting better blade designs, then ok. Now set the top plane as active plane. Right click, select active plane orientation. Now we have to draw an arc. So select the arc. Remember, press shift for getting point indication. Draw an arc like this. Then edit this arc. Then OK. Then OK. 
Now select the top line and sketch on it. Then click on project and project this curve. Then okay. Now sketch on the front plane. Again click on project and select this curve. Then okay. Now select the sketch two and sketch one. both and intersect them now select this curve press alt key for getting proper indication of this curve click on offset now we have to draw an offset curve of 0.60 mm to the both sides Point sixty. Then okay. Now hide the style one. Now click on sweep. Select this curve. You can change the direction. Right click. Select sketch. Now. We have to draw a line here right here of the length 0.5 mm 0.5 then okay now select this command click on surface then okay and click on the boundary blend then select this curve and this curve also by pressing control key then okay then repeat this procedure for these curves also then okay now we have to close this surface from the both sides for that click on the style command click on curve select this command take the reference now draw a curve like this by pressing shift key for getting point indications then okay now repeat the same procedure for other side also now click on the surface and select these four edges then okay and repeat the same procedure for other side also then okay now select all the surfaces
then click on merge then okay now we have to extend this merge for that click on the surface extend take the reference click on details unclick this command then select all the edges one by one then okay take this value at 0.50 then okay now we have to produce a round on the surface so click on this round select the both the surfaces right click 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 on full round select the surface then okay then repeat the same procedure for other side also then okay now select this whole profile copy it then okay now select the copy one solidify it then okay again select the copy one click on pattern change the pattern type to the axis select this axis change this angle to 360 then change the repetitions for example 5 then okay then click on solidify one click on pattern click on references then okay now we have to produce a round here so click on round select this edge change the dimension to the 0.55 then okay now select round 3 then pattern references then okay now change the tree type to the layer tree and hide the last one surface from right here again change the tree type to the model tree now select the top surface then sketch on it now take the reference of this line now draw a circle of 6 mm diameter then okay now remove the material up to this surface by selecting this command then okay and your impeller is ready so i hope you like this video so friends please support us 
like and share our videos and please subscribe to our channel 2SK designs and enjoy designing with us thank you